in our last video we had talked about position distance and displacement and we also note that simplest motion to describe is motion of a point along a straight line which we shall take to coincide with the coordinate axis now in our this video we will talk about average velocity and speed now we all know that speed is equals to distance travel upon time taken now this is the basic definition of speed now for discussing it further consider a particle moving along a straight line along x axis x coordinate describing motion of the particle from origin o varies with time or we can say that x coordinates depend on time now consider this figure if at any time t1 particle is at point p and at a distance x1 from the origin and at time t2 it is at point q at a distance x2 from the origin then displacement during this time interval is vector from point p to q and is given as delta x is equals to x2 minus x1 now average velocity of the particle is defined as the ratio of the displacement that is delta x of the particle in the time interval delta t which is equals to t2 minus t1 mathematically it is written as v is equals to delta x upon delta t now consider this figure this figure represents the coordinate time graph of the motion of the particle that is it shows how the value of x coordinate of moving particle is changing with the passage of time now in this figure average velocity of the particle is represented by the slope of chord pq which is equal to the ratio of displacement delta x occurring in the particular time interval delta t now like displacement average velocity we also has magnitude as well as direction or we can say that this average velocity is a vector quantity average velocity of the particle can be positive as well as negative and its positive and negative values depends upon the sign of displacement if displacement of the particle is zero then average velocity is also equals to zero so position time graph of a particle moving with positive average velocity is like this positive average velocity and graph for particle moving with negative average velocity would be of the form like this and if a particle is at rest then graph would be of the form this like this means there is no change in position with the passage of time so for positive average velocity slope of the line slants upwards right or we can say that it has positive slope and for negative average velocity slope line slants down to the right that is it has negative slope and for particle at rest slope is zero now displacement of the object is different from the actual distance traveled by the particle so for actual distance traveled by the particle its average speed is defined as the total distance traveled by the particle in the time interval during which the motion take place so mathematically average speed is equals to total distance divided by total time interval since distance traveled by a particle does not involve direction so speed of the particle depending on distance traveled does not involve distance and hence it is a vector quantity and is always positive magnitude of average speed may differ from average velocity because in case of motion with average speed distance may be greater than the magnitude of displacement and this can be cleared with the help of an example
Now, uh, consider this figure. Now, here a man starts travelling from origin till point Q and return to the point P. Then in this case, displacement of the man is from O to Q which is equals to 80 meter. And displacement from Q to P is equals to 20 minus 80 that is equals to minus 60 meter. Now total displacement of the particle in moving from point O to Q and then from point Q to P now total displacement of the particle in moving from point O to Q and then from point Q to P is equals to 80 20 is equals to 20 meter. Now the total distance travelled by the man from OQ to QP is equals to 80 plus 60 is equals to 140 meters. Now from this we can say that average speed depending on the distance is in general greater than the magnitude of velocity. So this is all for now and in our next video we will discuss about instantaneous velocity, speed and acceleration.